Archangel Michael, it is not possible for you to be separate from Creator. Channel by Ronhead, January 13, 2014. Archangel Michael and the Councils of Your Higher Selves. We are here today to bring you another look at the subject we brought up in an earlier message. That subject is the makeup of who you are, of who we are. This seems to be a very complex and difficult subject from your point of view, but we assure you that it is not. The difficulty lies only in the newness of the thought for you. And then, of course, there are those who cannot or will not entertain such thoughts for their own personal reasons. Most of you who are reading this are those for whom that does not apply. It is time for you to begin to understand that you are a great deal more than what is surrounded by your physical bodies. Also, consider that this applies to every other person and every other entity around you. Even though your senses tell you that you have limits, that you are separate from everything, it is not, in fact, true. But that will lead us off on another tangent. What we wish to dispel now is your perception that life happens to you. And while we are at it, let's also get rid of the thought that things are determined before you get here and there is nothing you can do about it. There is no conflict between the ideas of councils guiding your life and the fact that you are a being of free will. Now, why is that? Dearest friends, that is because just beyond the veil of your forgetting there is a continuance of you that sits with us and receives this guidance and agrees with it, in fact, helps to formulate it. You, in great part, are guiding you. And yet, even when you entertain this idea, you say, I would never choose this. You say that in your moments of pain, and we tell you that you would and you did. The trick, if it is one at all, is to look beyond the painful and ask, in what way is this serving me? That is a very difficult question to fathom in many situations. We do understand that. But it is true nevertheless. There is no being in this entire universe, or indeed any other, who decides to make you suffer for anything. Well, with the exception of yourself, of course. We ask you to look at this possibility. When and if life is not as you would have it be, where and for what are you judging yourself as less than, as wrong, as guilty, as needing to make up for? And if you just cannot imagine what that might be, that is all right. Forgive yourself anyway. For what might you be unable to forgive self when your Creator has already forgiven you? Are you really that harsh on yourself? Well, yes, you are, dear friends. In many, many cases, you are indeed. And you are separated from us and from Creator? It is not possible for you to be separate from Creator. You live in that illusion. You are never held separate from us, or your guides, or your families here either. There is, here, a much larger portion of you than you can imagine who is never apart from us. And so, in order to deal with your life, you have created another illusion. And then there is the truth that, were you able to perceive the truth of all we have just explained, you would not wish to remain where you are. And where you are right now is very much where you wish to be at this time. Take heart dear ones. We know that it is a difficult place you find yourselves in. But you are there right now in order to change that and also to witness and experience that change. The heavy lifting is almost all completely done now. You are now in the position of learning how to bring about that which you desire with far less opposition than heretofore. The biggest problem for you now will be that change is often messy. But, as it will also be unfolding and not sudden, there will also be much to celebrate and delight in. Returning to the initial subject of this message, you will very soon begin, in fact many of you have already begun, you will very soon begin to feel the understanding of your greater selves and their relationship with the all. This will be something that will grow in you over all of your existence, but it begins. Thank you for your attention throughout this rather lengthy message. Love to you all, dear friends. Good day.